Namaste. In this video, I will tell you how to make a foldable table in SolidWorks. So, first of all, select a plane in which you are going to draw. Currently, I am making the chassis of my table. Now exit the sketch, click on top plane, select sketch, select circle, press ctrl plus 8, create a circle of dia 20 mm. Now exit sketch, click on swept boss base, here you already select the sketch and now we are going to select the profile. Just click on this sketch. Here we got our sketch. Now click on right plane, click on sketch, click on circle, press Ctrl plus 8, create a circle of diameter 10 mm. Extrude. Forty mm. As you can see, the sketch is quite far away now. Click on offset. Just make it a little bigger click on ok press save ctrl plus s type chases let's give some color Control plus S now create a new file, select front plane, click sketch. Go to <coughs> center point arc, select line, oh, sorry, wrong angle, the angle between in these two lines is 360 divided by 3 and radius is 300 control plus 8 F degree Select mid plane. So when you extrude, it extrude on both sides. As you can see, click OK. Select right plane. 
click on sketch control plus 8 10 5 and the depth sorry type 30 select revolve base boss click ok oh sorry actually i have cut this not delete click X. sorry revolve cut delete select this line click ok now give it appearance uh, that should be fine ok now control plus save now CE you can give the name as per your requirement click on now select assembly select these two parts now right click on it select float so what will gonna happen if you don't click on float as you can see I cannot drag this here you can read the selected component is fixed so to move it click on float now I can drag it so let's see what we have to do here now select this line select the front plane click OK select this line and select right plane and select top plane select this face click ok now select this face and this face select this face and ok now click close make this table horizontal select this plane and select mate now make sure it is on parallel uh, I am going to delete this mate later onwards so make sure you rewrite re uh, you change its name press F2 delete because I am going to delete this mate this mate is not necessary uh, I am currently using this mate so that when I am going to do further assembly uh, these parts will not move now press control select the chassis and extrude it out sorry Now do again press control and move it out. Now we got three rods. Uh, same you can same to the base. Now here we got our three parts. Now remove the view temporary axis.
select this point and this point okay now the last one select select the lower baseline and here the lower baseline select this point and this point uh, you will realize why I'm selecting these points uh, when you will see the assembly and when I will gonna run this simulation select this part and this face I heard select this face okay now just we have to do the last one Make sure these three lines are parallel. Okay. Now we are going to do our simulation now. Go to motion study. Uh, select motor. Make sure you are going to select motor with the fixed base one, not with these two else your simulation will not gonna work properly now click on motor location right click on it select other select this inner circle of the table move downwards here it will rotate with this fixed base with respect to this fixed base click here select distance here 90 degree click ok now press F click on calculate here as you can see the simulation is not showing anything because I does not delete uh, the delete mate now right click on it click delete from motion study sorry yes click run Okay, I guess I need to delete from the here. Hmm. Let's see, I guess I have made some mistake. Here it is over defined mate. So let's see what kind of mistake we have done. Here I have selected the wrong pin joints. So I have to select this one and this point. Click OK. 
yes it's not gonna work as you can see now it works like a charm here you can do just go to and increase the frame rate 68 now click on run uh, you can see the simulation is slow because it is calculated now once calculate just click on the green button and play it now you can see it works very well and work like a charm i hope you like this video if you have any doubts and queries make sure you ask in comments thanks for watching and have a great day namaste